Hello and welcome to Tarot Talk with me, Catherine Allen, Clairvoyant Medium. I invite experienced readers only to join me on this show and show off our academic side, our knowledge of the cards and comparing different decks so that you get an opportunity to see how two different readers work together. I hope you'll enjoy. Stay tuned. Hi there. Welcome to Tarot Talk. We have another special guest today. And um, I'm doing these shows because I wanted to showcase the knowledge side and just the spontaneous channeling side of experienced readers. Everyone I invite on the show has, has experienced reading, reading for people for many years. And um, very often, you know, online we're shown sort of doing live, live readings where we're, we're sort of in two minds and we're answering your questions. And you very rarely get to see a couple of readers discussing or sparring about stuff and showing off another side of them. So this is why I'm bringing the show to you. Today uh, we have Moira Hutchison, and I met her maybe a couple years ago, I think, at a tarot conference in Montreal. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you're from Ottawa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Moira is a mindset cultivation coach, energy healer, and tarot consultant, and she also does hypnotherapy, and of course, in our twilight zone type reality right now of the virus we all work online so you can reach us afterwards so welcome moira thank you Catherine. i'm honored to be here thank you for my inviting pleasure me. yeah well i've always felt a nice connection with you when i've seen you come to our to our events and i've Absolutely. consulted you myself because you're just so present and earth mother kind of feeling to you, <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you. <laughs> so um how we're how we're going to do this then is i'm going to be using my uh toth deck and um, you are using which deck can you hold it up the back of it the back of it is yeah. the can you see that yeah yeah that's good it's the we were trying to say this before we started marconi is Giero marconi i believe is how Giero you marconi marconi okay yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a beautiful beautiful it's artwork a gorgeous on artwork i love yeah. this one all right, so the first thing I do is I'm going to shuffle my deck and then I'm going to hold up a card for Moira to, to channel or, or read. And, um, and then she will do the matching card in her deck and we'll just see how different are these decks, their philosophies, their, the way they're represented and maybe what the core meaning between both of them could be underneath the artwork. All right, so let's see. What do we pick today? Ah, lovely, okay. This is the Three of Wands. Nice. Yeah. I, I love the energy of that. So you're going to see me looking off camera so that I can have a look at, <laughs> at Yeah, no problem. Yes. Yeah. So threes, I love threes. So I talk about three as being, we, it's traditionally you would think of, of, of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's kind of the energy of this. But for me, I, t I think of head, heart, and higher self. Mm -hmm. so, so for the Three of Wands, and I love how they're connecting right in the middle. So wands to me speak of following your path, getting your guidance. So it's looking for answers that come from outside of you. So it's like following your path, your, your life purpose. So with it being a three, this is a time for a pause. Three is a time for a pause to say, you know, like at a one, you might have planted a seed. And then at two, you're going to have it germinate. And then at three, you're celebrating because it's actually becoming something. Mm -hmm. But you also then want to feel into what else is possible. And I really like that, that color because to me also, the color, that orange color is, is super creative. You think of the, mm -hmm. the chakra colors, right? So the orange chakra, creativity, purposeful, really following my path, really taking the time to get that that guidance right so it's like asking a question and then pausing for a moment trusting the answer is there and it will be shown to you that's kind of how i feel about that card mm -hmm. okay yeah me too i love i love that it's a combination of the the orange and and the yellow because like you said the uh the sacral chakra and the solar plexus so you're 
you're sort of blending your your passion and your your will at the same time mm -hmm. and the sun is in aries and the, the the word at the bottom actually says virtue yeah i saw that word and, and yeah. um so the sun in aries we don't often think of as virtuous you know usually aries maybe get a bit of a bad rap but ultimately it's to me this card is sort of um even though there's a trinity the um the sun in aries if it's very pure would be just yeah. having a strong self and we need to have a strong self to to draw from mm -hmm. uh, we can't lose ourselves you know but this one also gives me this feeling um because the the wands sort of look like they're glowing within the light you know there's something transparent about it and there's something that feels like when I pull this card, I always feel like it's telling the client, um, do the thing that you know is right. Mm. Do the thing that honors yourself and others. Do the noble thing. Uh, that's the virtue kind of. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that. And, yeah. I, and, and I, I do like what you say now that you're, that, that symbology of the connection in the middle, that really speaks of all of it coming together and that the illumination you're looking for is looking for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got this feeling of like uh, elevating yourself, uh, enlightenment, um, mixing all three sides of yourself, as you said. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean anything with a three, like you said, celebration or or the trinities of life, it's very absolutely very powerful. Um, you're bringing through something bigger than yourself at that point. Absolutely. You know, the other thing that just landed for me on that one, Catherine, yeah. is that that during the time, like it's, it's lovely that that came up while we're in this time of, of distancing and locking ourselves in our own rooms. Yes. <laughs> but you know, the other thing that that speaks to me of is divine right action. So it's yeah. not hustle forward, get it done, perform, yes, no, black or white. It's about pick something and take it at the right pace because yeah. you're always supported with it being a three you do not have to strike out as one on your own you've got this other support all around you yeah 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 and you mentioned creativity at the beginning too and you can sort of see these you know fiery flares mm -hmm. breaking it out and flowers and I, I know a lot of people that are getting super creative during this time you know yes me too and i love to see the innovation and creativity that's coming out of this because it just shows you what we're all capable of when we have a little bit of rest and space. Absolutely. And when the need, when the need arises, you know, mm -hmm. we will, we will reinvent a new, a new way of living. Absolutely. Already I'm excited starting. for that. It's yeah. already starting. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see your three of wands. And I found it while you were just started. So here it is. Yeah. All right. Let me just take a look. Yeah, if you can pull it back just a little bit, there, that's good. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, yeah, this beautiful dragon sort of headed ship. Mm -hmm. And um, I love his green robes. Very heart heart chakra with, with that one. Yeah. The, uh, the decorative, the wands are quite decorative. They're sort of, they're guarding him. Like, they're protecting him as he's wondering whether he should maybe receive or embark upon this this ship mm. is it oh, is that a, a is that a dove flying above the white the the bird yes yeah okay. it is up, up there yeah yeah That's so yeah. he's sort of bringing he's maybe the peace bringer mm -hmm. um in in something because the the dragon boat sort of looks ominous like we don't know what's on it what it's yes. doing yeah there's something you know that's quite relevant right now too right the fear suspicion what is this? Can I trust these people? Can I trust that advice, that that news thing? But the white the white dove flying above it all gives me the feeling he's there to make peace, negotiate, reassure. Yes. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I and I I agree with you. So yeah. for me, and and actually, I really feel feel what I was saying to you when I was looking at yours. So you can really see the similarities. Obviously, it's the three. Yeah. But one of the things to point out. So the the dove absolutely says, "Keep going forward." See, it's in front of them. So yeah. keep going forward. Peace is there. You are looked after. Yeah. 
But the thing that I like to draw people's attention to when this comes up is look at these two wands are behind him. Yeah. He's moving forward thinking it's just him. Oh, uh, yeah. He has to go forward and face that dragon boat by himself. Mm. But here he has to pause and realize he's being guided by peace. Mm -hmm. Look at what he, the resources, the support. Yeah, yeah. Is, is behind him so it's to, to embody all three so so yeah they getting, literally got his back it's right yes, yeah, right well said. His back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah absolutely yeah. and then also too the other thing that i i think of is that this looks a little bit like a stormy sky yeah which is alleviated right it's becoming brighter over here so it's like if you go forward in like encompassing all of this support that, that is there don't make it too much about shoving forward pushing forward um which could maybe happen if you just ran and jumped on the boat and yeah pause it's to, sort of to hard for him to to do that because it's a very misty looking ground too yes it's hard to tell yeah, where the water is and where the ground here. begins and yeah yeah it looks yeah. misty so he's got to navigate it by, um, well, the bird can, you know, the, the dove can, like you said, be leading him like a totem or like an angel lead, mm -hmm. leading him mm -hmm. at the right time and pace. But, but to the point we were talking about, about this is this, these times that we are in, we all yeah. have that time to just, just pause. So it's something that I've been saying to my clients this week, actually, is, is a couple of things is when I, talk about this or when I do this how do I feel about myself and that can sometimes be enough to ignite the guidance that comes from that that's kind of whispering in your ear it's kind of it's always there but yeah. sometimes we have to go still or surrender into oh right the answer I'm looking for is looking for me too right <laughs> yeah yeah good point yes shall we do another one sure all right. Do you want to shuffle first, and uh, and I'll and then I'll match yours. Okay. After. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gather them all up because they're all spread around on my desk. <laughs> I have to find that one. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful artwork on that deck. I know, isn't it? I love it. Yeah. It's one of those types that that you can just keep diving into and seeing more and more every time you look at it. Yeah, I feel that way about the Toth. I still see stuff I never noticed after all these years. So, so funny, and I and I can get that truly. It's the thing about a deck is that it's a relationship. It's an ongoing yeah. relationship. Even if you put it down and go back to it later, you still pick up stuff. So I was distracted because I'm excited. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> look what came up. We're obviously on a one roll. This oh is wow! The Queen of Wands. Okay. So Lovely. Yeah, if you can hold her there, that's good. Okay. Huh. So it's, uh, you know, it shows obviously her, her will, her power with, you know, um, her creative capacity with how big that wand is and how, how that sphere of fire is, is lit. She looks, um, she looks younger than I'd expect her to for some reason, this queen. I'm wondering, um, it looks a bit like it's those two wings that you see with the oh, yes. sometimes behind yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. But then you see uh, the, the artwork down below around the, the leopard are like flames. So it's yeah. like, like burning off what's not serving while still creating at the same time. Yeah. Which is, to me, it's very much her energy. It's just that yours is more stern, more like in your face. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You feel like you're her subject and you're your are Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the but other, if I had I, to bow to somebody, I'd be okay with doing it to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only, I agree with you fully. So the only thing I'd, I'd add with it maybe is um, she's got this sort of circular form behind her too. So it's, it's contained. You know, it's not going all over the place. It's not, yes. you know, an ego gone all, all amok. Yeah. Um, and her wand is huge. How long this wand is. I'm not sure what plant that is at the top or if it's something, but 
I'm sure that it almost looks like a pineal gland kind of. I was going to say that looks like the pine cone of the pineal gland. <laughs> yeah, and so it just and how big it is, and but it's it's across her and at rest, but it shows how, you know, how intuitive she is. Mm -hmm. and, and I get also a feeling with her, obviously, of like leadership, taking charge, taking control, no problem. Like she can tame this leopard. The leopard is her little servant. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I liked what you said about you know, um, yeah, that feline energy. That, that says a lot if you can tame a cat. Yes, yeah. And then right. the other thing, one other thing that I just noticed as you were saying that is the relaxed way she holds that wand. There's no yeah. severeness about it. So she just yeah. really embraces that comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so true. And just how filled with light the card is. And you even mm -hmm. see like, she's got a bit of armor around her shoulders mm -hmm. and uh, she's got, really strong arms you know yeah, like she, she does yeah she looks like she works out she's she's powerful in on you know the physical plane as well as the mental obviously these rays shooting out from her crown yeah um but it, it just you know so much of the toth deck is about it's a uh you know his philosophy of manifesting in magic too so the, yes. this queen can definitely send out her her will on many levels she can manifest and uh, she's so she's powerful. We just watch, you know. I we just watch. What is she manifesting? If she pull, if, if you pull her in the cards, just to you know, we check this person's character. From what energy are they manifesting? Because they're pretty powerful with it. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And as you were saying that, I, what I heard in my head was she goes around saying, "And so it is." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it is. Yeah. Interesting how we're pulling all this fire, this fire and will right now in the midst I of this thing. Yeah, I guess everybody needs. I did that. I message. did that on my uh, a reading that I did earlier. We got the Ace of Wands, so very much. And so yeah, it's like burning off everything that doesn't serve us anymore to allow the creativity to flow, right? Yeah, and that that's the that's the wonderful part about this pause that we're given is mm -hmm. when are we ever going to get a pause like this? I mean, the world's just been speeding up for the last 20 years. Absolutely. And I used to actually walk around saying and craving, like, for years I've been just, and I would say it flippantly, like, I wouldn't, I wasn't trying to manifest it, but I would say, you know, if somebody could just, like, if I could just have enough money to stay home for a little while, you know, so that I could just clean my house and do some painting and some art again, that'd be awesome. And it's like, well, here it is. Here you go. Came through a quarantine instead of a self-given artist retreat or whatever. But here it is. Mm -hmm. And so I, I quickly went, all right, all righty then. And it's been great to get back into the, the creativity. Mm -hmm. It's It's been great for everybody to go through their homes and take a look at their stuff. You know. And, and do things at a slower pace. Yeah. I've been making sure that I go, I do get up and I do my Qigong every morning and I go for walks every single day. And cause I still do this work. Yeah. I still see clients, but I'm, I'm doing it at such a different pace. And, and like you for a long time, I, I was brought up in a, in a Quaker community oh, Okay. It, as, as a child and very much oh back to the land type of thing. So yeah. my dad's philosophy was that, you know, you work on the land and, and you don't work for the man. He was very much, you don't work for the man. <laughs> and so, so I, over the last probably three, three years anyway, three, two to three years been thinking, you know, why are we working? What is it we're working so hard for? You know, we, we hustle, we drive, we, we, exactly. we need to earn more. We need to work more. Why? Exactly. And that's been, I could, it's almost like having this little inner girl, this little inner girl that, that grew up in Hicksville, BC. Well, for a time, I really grew up in Scotland. Yeah, but, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but prior, prior to that, I, I, it, I lived for 10 years in BC in this community. And, and, and in this very, it was a busy pace of life, but there was a reason for everything. You know, you tended the chickens and the goats and you did the garden. And so it was all very much in touch with, the, with Mother Earth too. Yeah. And, and like you just said about us being so busy for 20 odd years, it's like we lost touch. Yeah, we did. Now we get to come back and go, yeah. oh, 
Yeah. Yes. We've been presented with these ideologies of luxury for, yes. for a long time. Well said, yes. And every, I think that's the thing people are elusively chasing is bigger, better, more luxury. I must live like a rock star. And mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm not there, well, why? I deserve it. I'm entitled to it. Why don't I have it? And what, Or work, work, work. And and yeah, it's like, no, There's we've lost a lot of things that are important along the way. Like, I can't believe and I can't tell you how many people I'm suddenly talking to uh, live again on video or um, people calling and messaging. It, it's been out of this world how many people are reaching out to talk that yeah. it's been great i mean isolation yes physically on the sidewalk but not in any other social way i mean no. if anything i'm managing six seven conversations at once every day <laughs> and i'm going whoops oh my gosh and and Who so knew you could do that i know yeah. that's, the, that's <laughs> such a gift with the internet and with video chatting and yeah and things like Zoom. I mean, so I can, yes, I yeah. actually was on a, a group chat because there were about 15 of us yeah. last week and, and it was awesome. Yeah, I, 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 these things. I uh, because I use Zoom for a, a while now, I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. um, I pitched that to uh, our friends in, in our village. We, we, we usually organize a cabaret about this time of year. Okay. And so, you know, we all just got on and had dinner and caught up with each other on and so, I mean, that's just a, it's an easy, innovative thing we could have always done, but nobody feels they have the time. So nobody commits to, to appointments yeah. Yeah. or courses or anything for the longest time now. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, like, even with our work and our field, I, f I feel like, oh, good. Everyone's slowing down a little. They can listen, they can join, they can come back and they can, they can meet each other again. Yeah. And, um, there's a, not, a lot of healing that'll come from this time. And I know for everyone that's not used to doing their healing work, it can be overwhelming at first, but I think it's... And so if it is overwhelming, awesome. make sure make sure they reach out. Yeah. Nobody, nobody just because we're, we're isolated doesn't mean anybody needs to be on their own with those yeah. kind of feelings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So tell us a little bit how you, how you work with your coaching, your energy work, if people want to come to you. So you can contact me through my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page called Wellness with Myra. And, and that's my, my website is wellnesswithmyra.com also. Those are the two main places to, to connect with me. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and anybody that just wants to have a chat, I do a 30 minute consultation. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or you just need a bit of a sounding board, I'm here. And then I, I do offer coaching programs. Uh, which blend all of my tools. So I, I do some numerology, I do coaching and mindset, uh, tri you know, cultivation, mindset cultivation, um, mm. and then tarot. Tarot is, is woven in everything that I do because I find it such a beautiful psychological tool yeah. to help people. It's actually a great way to help people see exactly where they are. You know, even yeah. if we are, when you're questioning and then you kind of look at a card it helps helps me help you but it helps you see yourself yes exactly yeah. find the, the 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 card or the archetype gives people an yeah. object Absolutely. to start discussing something from that would otherwise might be harder yes you know, it stimulates yeah. uh yeah no i th i think they're they're an amazing an amazing resource that we have you know 